Yeah. When people are going through a difficult period, like maybe a divorce right now, or maybe their business is on the brink of collapse, and or they in severe, like they just found out that they got some terminal disease, then they said, "Well, like yeah, that sounds good in theory, but I'm not thinking about serving people." Like, yes. and probably for me, like serving people, they're thinking, oh, "Let's go out and volunteer the time in some homeless shelter or somewhere." What advice can you give to those people that yeah, it sounds good in theory, I want to do it, but my circumstances doesn't allow me to serve people. Yes, yes, I totally understand what you're saying. Yes, and perhaps it was a little bit a、uh, broad statement to apply to everyone. So for those people, I'd say,、um, yeah, my heart goes out to you. Sometimes it's very hard, and I would go back to point number one, which is do whatever you can to make it through, and make sure that you're not judging yourself through it, and actually somehow trusting every day that life will get better. Because I do believe that we are powerful creators, and that as long as there's that flame of hope and that practical sense of just getting through day after day, if you will find the resources, you will be able to heal, and you will be able to make sense of the pain or the struggles and challenges you're going through. I mean, that's speaking from personal experiences. Sometimes I didn't have the answer, but it was just I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to be as kind as I can through this, and eventually the clouds parted. And it seems to be a theme that I, I talk to a lot of people. And they come out these phases. So I'd say in a really dire situation, sometimes it's about just making it through. But if you do feel more, maybe it applies more if you're trapped in a job that you know is maybe soul sucking, and you're yeah you're just healing out of relationship, and you're getting back out into the world. It would be to see your life like you are the hero on the hero's journey, raise your whole context of your life into a more inspiring state. The way I do this is I connect to people throughout history that lived through some of the most ridiculous challenges imaginable. And seeing, oh, they persevered, and they did so for love. They did so for goodness, for virtues, to have an impact greater than themselves. And it's not that ego thing of I've got to conquer the world and become, you know, not in that sense, but just for its own sake to be a vehicle of inspiration and love for its own sake. And if you can know that that's possible for you, and you deserve to think about your life in that context, you will start manifesting things into your life that start. Nudging you on what you can do, whether that is just volunteering on a weekend, or whether that's a new business idea that you slowly will start taking baby steps to creating. And as soon as you're on that path of, of greater meaning, you're seeing your life as a hero on a hero's journey. It really helps alleviate your focus on your pain and starts gearing your life towards something more、uh, creative and divine, inspiring. I found that on my darkest days, that a sense that I'm living for that really pulled me through. It certainly got me up. I don't know about you, but it certainly started my business when I was getting off the ground, when I was putting my first videos out there, and I was facing tremendous fear, or when I was in the dark down of my soul. And I remember coming home from my job with nothing, no hope, and I shivered in the bathtub, and I didn't even have the energy to get out of the bath, so the water just drained itself all the way to the bottom, and I felt so existentially alone after the awakening. I felt like I couldn't even turn to another human for help because I was like, "Do these people? I'm talking to nothing here." It was like I've really felt so alone, hopeless. And yet, something about connecting to this inspiring state that I will make it through, that my life has meaning, that there is a purpose, and I am right about that. And focusing on that as a really big picture way that you're going to live your life really pulls you through.